Today, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Tanium containers content that we just recently released. Uh, you can see here that I actually talk about the Tanium client container. That's the first thing that you need to understand about, the, about this new solution that we released. It will require you to deploy the Tanium client container to your Kubernetes or OpenShift orchestrators that you have deployed. The Tanium client con container has to be deployed to every worker node that you have in either a Kubernetes da daemon set, or you also have the opportunity to deploy the Tanium client directly on the host. This allows you to have greater visibility. After you do that, you can import the container content and you can start to see uh, immediate value just by starting to ask questions. The first one here just shows running containers in the environment. This will run across every machine, whether it's a worker node or whether it's somebody's laptop or some other server that is running, uh, that, that is, happens to be running containers. And you can start to see different containers running, even some that are unorchestrated like this Bitcoin container that's running. Additionally, this comes with a trends board that you can import that allows you to see how many containers are running in your environment across how many pods, start to see the vendor of the container as well as the Kubernetes service, start to see the, the different runtimes that are, that are running in the environment, whether you're switching to container D, Docker, and then start to see the image hash. So whether that is you know, something that's very high or whether you flip this by asking the question and then look for outliers by just seeing, you know, which onesies, twosies do you have out there running from an image standpoint. And additionally, you get to see the privileged containers. So privileged containers have greater visibility and access into the host. And so it's important to know where those are running and why are they running? You should be able to inspect those and understand what they're running as well. A lot of times we expect customers expect containers to be fairly short lived. So if they are running for weeks on end, you might be questioning why and understand, does that breach a paving policy that we have defined? And if you also are looking at microservice architecture, instead of, uh, instead of some uh, architecture where you're running many processes inside of a container, it's good to see how many actual processes are running in each of your containers. If you have a container running 39 processes, that probably violates your architecture designs that you have laid out. And last but not least, we have some container dashboards that you can see. So we actually have a containers category that you can favorite inside of Interact. And you can start to see the dip six different dashboards that we have, all with multiple saved questions behind them, letting you drill down further. If you're just not sure where to start, dashboards give you a great idea of great capability to hit the ground running, see containers in your environment. For more information, see the community post on community.tanium.com for Tanium containers.